Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. I thank you so so much for being here today. Today we are going to have a wonderful time together. Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. Today we are going to do some vegetarian meals now. A lot of people are vegetarian and they do not want to eat any animals so they prefer vegetarian meat. Today's this few vegetarian meat compilation I'm going to do first jackfruit. Now this is jackfruit and jackfruit is a, a very big kind of fruit and it's very nutritious and has a lot of fiber. So I'm going to cook this one and jackfruit you can buy the entire big jackfruit which is like 7-8 pounds or you can buy the can one. I have two can ones you can get the can ones from the Asian market. Now the, there are good and bad sides if you have buy the actual jackfruit the huge one then you need to clean it and cut it and the process is quite tedious so can is the best option now this is the can so you can get the can from any asian market and i'm using two cans here as two cans makes enough for one time meal for uh, two people and this remember this has a lot of fiber and very nutritious so you just wash take it out wash it it's soaked in vinegar and then you need to boil it for like 15 20 minutes now if you have a presser cooker you can give a couple of whistle so that way it's soft and now i'm going to cook it very simple way I'm going to turn on the oven and I have here oil and cumin and asafoetida, some cilantro, some salt and some turmeric, some vegetable masala and a little bit of garam masala. So I'm going to heat up my oil and this is about half a teaspoon of olive oil and to that I'll put my cumin seed and as a food it and let it roast for a few minutes so as cumin and as a food it getting roasted and remember uh, to heat up the oil a little bit before you put the cumin and as a food it and also remember not to over cook it like don't burn it and you will put the vegetable to it when it's a little bit of it's a little bit of smell come but it's a good aroma not a burning smell now two ways you can do it at this point you can add chopped onion ginger garlic and tomatoes or you can add pre-made masala which is onion ginger garlic tomatoes which you can make it ahead of time and keep it in your fridge that way it's cuts your cooking time to half so it's a good way to do it you know after work you can just come home and just cook something quickly and if you have your masala which is onion ginger garlic tomatoes like this i made it so if you keep it made like this and uh, then it's easy and this one has one onion and a little bit of ginger and garlic uh, just uh, based on how much you prefer and now you can add some freshly cut chopped tomatoes and when I made the spice I added some tomatoes as well and then I have some freshly cut one as well uh, after you do the spices and tomatoes cook till tomatoes are thoroughly cooked and melted we don't want any um, raw raw tomatoes so we want to cook the tomatoes so this process will take you about five minutes of cooking and then in this process you can add all the spices um, as well 
or you can add it after you add the vegetable that doesn't make much difference so it's up to you so I'm gonna add some salt it's up to your taste like oh, well, half a teaspoon or one teaspoon whatever mm, however you wish and then I'm going to add half a teaspoon of turmeric and then I'm gonna add some vegetable masala uh, and some garam masala and cilantro leaves so those three things and I add it and now I'm going to add some potatoes to it and you can make this jackfruit curry with potatoes or without potatoes uh, with potatoes is actually thick and I let all this cook for a while until all the tomatoes are melted and remember we already boiled the jackfruit so we want the tomatoes to cook properly and the potatoes to cook properly and you can wish to put a cover in it or you can just cook it without the cover make sure your heat is in low settings so nothing gets burned and now in five minutes i see everything is melted and ready now i'm going to to this i'm going to add my vegetable masala which is one teaspoon you can add a little bit more if you like more spicy and if, if you like really spicy you can add one or two green chili pepper or red grass pepper how spicy you like depends on that and i'm going to add the jackfruit now and just saute it for a while make a few minutes and then i'm going to cover it and cook it and at the end i'll mix the cilantro chopped one to two tablespoon if you like more you can put more and uh, garam masala in the, at the end now we're going to just saute it for a few minutes until all the spices and potatoes and uh, jackfruit everything is mixed properly everything is sauteed and you see the oil coming out from the side even though we put only half a teaspoon oil but still when everything is really sauteed sort of like fry then oil comes out automatically even your half teaspoon oil also comes out so that's the sign that everything is cooking properly and now I'm just going to add water and about a cup of water I don't you don't want to add too much water you just want a little bit of water so to cook it thoroughly and have a little bit of gravy you can eat this one with um, rice or bread or just by itself it goes really nice with anything now remember this nutritious and it has a lot of fiber so it will clean you up inside it's just like watermelon it has a lot of fiber and a lot of people make pickle out of it it's very tasty i'm gonna add just one cup of water and now i'm going to cover it up just mix it little bit make sure everything is mixed up properly and then i'm just going to add the cilantro leaves and uh, yeah, at this point you can add the garam masala too on top of it and cover it up and don't disturb too much let it just cook five minutes or so because uh, all our things are already softened and cooked potatoes and the jackfruit everything was softened and cooked so we'll just let so this is a second idea for tofu with so I have this soya bean slash tofu and I'm going to if you want to make a tofu curry uh, with peas and potatoes or whatnot you have to saute the tofu a little bit so I have like um, 
two big chunk of tofu and I'm going to uh, saute it a little bit and um, uh, half a teaspoon of oil so what you do is you put half a teaspoon of oil in a big non-stick pan and then you lay down your tofu but you don't move it too much around because they will break so just lay it down and brown both the side before adding any spices now this is a beautiful dish to eat it uh, like sloppy joe you can eat it inside your bread you can even eat it with rice and this gives your a protein so as you see these are uh, sort of like brown with the side and now i have in a pan about half a teaspoon of oil with some cumin seed and asphodita um, now i'm roasting the cumin seed and asphodita and i'm going to add some uh, like a spices onion ginger garlic tomatoes and that has some cilantro leaves and this is pre-made spices so I'm just going to add this one if you keep your spices pre-made in the fridge that way it cuts down on your cooking time now to that I'm going to add some salt based on your taste and I'm going to add some turmeric and some vegetable masala and some roasted cumin seed powder and some garam masala and i'm just going to cook it little bit uh, just to make sure it makes everything thoroughly and my spices are already pre-cooked because i cook it ahead of time and now this all cooked fine and i'm going to add my um, tofu which I brown with the side and I'm going to mix it with the spices thoroughly and I'm going to add some green peas and potatoes and this um, dish this uh, tofu with green peas and potatoes are uh, really really yummy and just um, a great substitute for your meat egg fish and it's just uh, another form of protein so you see it's all cut hi thank you so so much for being here today i hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like subscribe comment and share this video thank you may god bless you all